Hi, this is Cal from Lincolnshire Bushcraft and Survival Camp. Today I've been out foraging and I've got lots of rose hips. And today I'm going to be making uh, rose hip jam or rose hip jelly. So, what I've got to do first is give him a good old wash and a rinse and take any bits off them any leaves or stalks and then once I've done that I'm going to uh, put them in a pan and I'm going to have to boil them for approximately an hour so I've now washed them, got rid of any leaves any stalks and I've just weighed them and there's just under a kilogram of rose hips so now what I'm going to do is cover them with hot water and then place them on the stove and uh, boil them for an hour well I've got it to a boil now after about 10 minutes and now what I'm going to do is turn the heat down so it simmers And then I'm going to let that simmer for approximately an hour. And once it's to the point where I can mash it, I'm going to mash it all up. And then I'll be at the point where I'm going to strain it. So I've taken it off the boil, it's been on for an hour. And all I'm going to do now is just mash it all up. As soon as I've mashed it all up, then I'm going to strain it through. Um, a cloth so I'm giving it a good mash as you can see the seeds and the skin I'm trying to mash and extract all the all the goodness out of the rose hips and then once that's done I will strain it to get everything that I don't want in the uh, jam out So I've mashed it completely and I'm going to get myself a sieve and some cloth and I'm going to pour into the cloth a bit at a time. I need to strain it and the liquid through because what I want is the liquid to go through and the seeds and the skin and everything else to pass through it into the bowl underneath just the juices I want so I've now extracted the liquid now which is it's quite a bit so I've got to put it in the pan and now I've just got to put it back on the can't really see but I've got to put it back on the heat and I'm going to add my pectin and my lemon juice so I've added the pectin the powder just got to mix that in until that's dissolved and then add my lemon juice and then I'm going to add my cups um, three cups of sugar to sweeten and then bring it back to the boil well it's a bit hard to see with this light at the moment plus the steam but i've actually all the sugar's dissolved the pectin's dissolved and it 
just needs decanting now into jars and as it cools down it'll uh, solidify so I've just got to uh, sterilize my jars and my lids and then decant it into them and then that's done well I've sterilized my jars and I've now got in the jug and I've just sterilized the lids so I'm just gonna decant into the jars and I'm going to put the lids on them and then I'm going to put them in a back into the pan of water for 10 minutes boiling water and I'm going to leave them to cool and then I'll cause a vacuum and seal seal the jars and they should be good for go for a good few years couple of years and and then that's how you make rose zip jam last stage now of the process just gonna boil the jars with the jam in them for about 10 minutes and then when I take them off the heat and leave them to cool uh, they should cause a vacuum, the lid should pop and then that's it preserved then so I managed to get out of a kilo of um, rose hips I managed to get four jars of jam or jelly um, they've been in the bath of water for 10 minutes so as they cool down they should uh, seal well, I hope you've uh, got some information from this video and hopefully when you go out foraging you'll get some rose hips and you'll make your own jam so I hope you enjoyed it thank you